Welcome to the Glenwood Transfer Station. The Glenwood Transfer Station is operated by Lane County's Waste Management Division. We would like to show you how to access our recycling and waste disposal services and make your visit as simple as possible. The first step to a good visit is to properly load your vehicle. If you have garbage and materials to recycle, keep them separate to make it easier to unload. Load your vehicle with garbage first and recycling last so you can easily drop off materials in the appropriate areas at the transfer station. Remember to securely cover or fasten your load. When you arrive at the Glenwood Transfer Station, wait your turn. The far right lane is for loads with a combination of recycling and garbage. The left, garbage only lane is for loads containing garbage only with no recycling items, appliances, wood waste, rubble, or mattresses to drop off. Drive up to the scale house window and tell the fee collector what you are bringing. If you are dropping off an appliance, concrete, mattresses, propane tanks, tires, wood waste, or yard debris, ask the fee collector about the additional fee. These items are a little difficult to handle and process, and that's why we charge the customer a little more. Follow the signs, yellow lines, and curbing leading to the transfer building where garbage can be unloaded. Enter the transfer building and then back up your vehicle to unload your garbage. This is an active area and your safety is important to us. Children and pets must remain inside your vehicle at all times. Back your vehicle in so you can easily unload garbage into the pit. Do not cross the cable barrier. After you unload your garbage, exit the building and follow the signs down the slope to the exit and all the way to the white stop lines at the scale house window. Make sure that you do not pull up onto the scale before it's your turn. The fee collector will weigh your vehicle and charge you based on your initial and final weight. Now we will tell you how to unload your recyclable material. Did you know that 70% of what gets landfilled could be reused, recycled, or composted? Recycling lengthens the life of short mountain landfill, saves natural resources, and reduces impacts from climate change. Customers who haul their own waste should separate the types of recyclable materials beforehand. Corrugated cardboard, mixed paper, newspaper, glass, aluminum and steel cans, scrap metal, and electronic items all get unloaded before the fee booth. Yard waste and clean wood are fee items, but cost less than garbage. Place each type of recyclable material in the designated bins or areas. It's easy, we'll show you how. Look for recycling signs, which show what is accepted in each recycling bin. All metal that is 75% metal or more, such as washers, dryers, ranges, water heaters, and lawn mowers are gladly accepted as long as all the fluids have been removed. Corrugated cardboard boxes have ridges in between each layer. Corrugated cardboard does not include paperboard, such as cereal or cracker boxes. Paperboard boxes can be added to recycle bins that accept mixed paper. Corrugated cardboard boxes must be empty and flattened. No styrofoam or other plastic items are allowed. The Glenwood Transfer Station is a paint care collector. You can drop off up to 20 gallons of paint in the recycling area without making a hazardous waste appointment. Antifreeze, batteries, motor oil, and electronics, including computers, are also accepted for free in the recycling area. Fluorescent light bulbs, tubes, and other mercury-containing lights can be placed in these containers in a covered area. We can help you recycle those fluorescent bulbs. Thank you. Look for recycling signs where you can also drop off paper, glass bottles and jars, tin and aluminum cans, and plastic number two HDPE bottles and jugs, such as milk jugs, which have no color added to the plastic. Make sure drink and food containers are empty, clean, and dry. Shredded paper is accepted in the mixed paper bin as long as it's contained in a paper bag labeled shredded paper. Do not place plastic bags in any bin. All recycling materials should be loose. Plastic bags and film can be taken to local grocery stores that accept these materials. Any material that can be donated for reuse, such as textiles, housewares, and books, will be screened by a St. Vincent de Paul team member on site. 
this facility accepts separated polystyrene blocks and coolers, otherwise known as styrofoam, from residential customers only. Blocks and coolers must be empty, clean, and dry. Polystyrene peanuts and other packaging are not accepted. Some items we collect for recycling are located outside the main recycling area because there is a small fee. Continue to the fee collection booth and let the fee collector know if you have any of these items. Appliances, concrete, mattresses, propane tanks, tires, wood waste, and yard debris. You will be directed where to drop them off. Yard waste. Branches, leaves, and grass clippings can be unloaded here. Clean wood. Clean wood is untreated lumber, plywood, pallets, and crates. Paint and nails are okay, but for mica, foam-filled doors and other non-wood laminate are not. Remember the fee to recycle yard waste and clean wood is less than the garbage fee. Appliances. If you have a large appliance, look for the signs. Place refrigerant type appliances such as refrigerators and air conditioners here. Propane tanks. We accept five gallon propane tanks for a fee and one pound single use camping cylinders for free. When exiting the recycling area, all cars must stop at the fee booth. If you brought in recyclable items that Lane County charges for, you will need to pay the fee. If you only brought in recyclable items that are free, please let the fee collector know. At that point, he or she will lift the gate and let you out of the facility. If you have garbage to unload after you have dropped off recycling, proceed to the transfer building where you will then back up your vehicle to unload your garbage. Follow signs to the nearest exit where you will be routed around the transfer building to the fee collection booth. The fee collector will weigh your vehicle and charge you a garbage fee based on your initial and final weight. Please let us know if you have any questions and thank you for visiting. Please visit our website for more information about the Glenwood Transfer Station and all the services Lane County provides.